All right, guys, it is Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. It is the unofficial day celebrating Star Wars, its history, its lore, that kind of thing. But they also make major announcements on this day as well. And we have some news here. The day actually starts off pretty good. We get Clone Wars Season 7, Episode 12, the series finale. It came out. I actually have a review up on the channel for that, so make sure that you guys check it out. But however, we have a major announcement, and it's not really a surprise because there was already a rumor out there anyway about this person. But Star Wars has confirmed that Leslie Headland will be the showrunner on a future Star Wars project. And they actually put it up on Twitter. So it's from the official Star Wars Twitter account. They say another transmission. Emmy Award winner Leslie Headland to write, produce, and serve as showrunner for a new untitled Star Wars series in development for Disney+. Plus. So it will be on Disney+. Plus. And they also announced that Taika Waititi would direct a future Star Wars film. So that was really the major announcements. They actually um, announced that another writer, I can't remember name, her name right now, but she's going to be uh, working with Taika Waititi on his project. But this video really is about Leslie Headland. So she has been confirmed to actually be the showrunner on a future Star Wars project for Disney Plus. Now we all we have already talked about you know her track record. She has a Russian Doll on Netflix that's supposed to be pretty good. I've never heard of it, but nothing's really changing. You know, SJW Star Wars is just here to stay. It's here to stay. I'm not surprised by this because apparently Lucasfilm, they want agenda over story. We don't know anything about this project. The only thing we know is it's just going to be female centric. And because this is the way of Disney Star Wars, they don't care about the story. They only care about the agenda. And Nothing is changing, and that's very, very concerning. Usually, when they make major announcements like this, you know, back in the past, anyway, when George was running the company, you would actually get excited about this. I'm not excited about any of this. I mean, Star Wars Day made a fourth. I'm going to remember Star Wars for what it was, not for what it is right now, and not for what it will be in the future, because now in the future looks very, very bleak. There's nothing good about it right now. Nothing. None of the new stuff is really any good. Yes, I'm I'm mainly talking about the movies. You know, Clone Wars was fantastic, even though the middle four episodes I said was trash and I stand by that. It was horrible. And I gave the overall season a B just because of those four episodes being so bad. But now the future. Is, is looks very, very bleak. No good announcements to me. Taika Waititi, he made Thor Ragnarok. I really didn't care for Ratnarok very much. Leslie Hedlund is going to be another SJW agenda. Who wants to get excited for that? On May the 4th, Star Wars Day, Disney gave us nothing. Nothing to get excited about. Now, they did conclude, you know, the Clone Wars series, and that went out with a bang. It was a good episode, but that may actually be the true last Good thing that we actually get, even though the Mandalorian season two, I'm very much looking forward to that. But Leslie Helen, I cannot get on board with this. I can't. But I guess I can feel some kind of comfort in this because. If you look at Kathleen Kennedy's track record, Leslie Helen may actually not even make her Star Wars project for Disney Plus. I mean, every single production that Kathleen Kennedy has been in charge of has had production problems. A lot of the times the, the showrunners end up getting fired. Now, will Leslie Helen actually get fired? Maybe so. I don't know, but she is a woman and you never know with Kathleen Kennedy, even though Kathleen Kennedy, she seems to hire the wrong people. I mean, look at, look at uh, the rise of Palpatine. They had a lot of production problems. Uh, Rogue One, a lot of production problems. Solo, a lot of production problems and a lot of those uh, showrunners were let go. So it is a good chance that Leslie Headland may not actually end up finishing or actually starting her Star Wars project. We don't know. I mean, even Obi-Wan Kenobi has some production issues right now, even though Kathleen Kennedy told us the scripts are already done. And apparently the scripts were never done, or at least not to her liking 
I should say. Star Wars Day is ruined. This has to be probably the worst Star Wars Day that I can think of. And I'm speaking from the heart. I'm being an honest Star Wars fan. If something is good from Disney Star Wars, I'm going to tell you. But it looks very, very bleak. Rogue One was good. I admit it. Clone Wars is good. I admit that even though technically Clone Wars really isn't a Disney Star Wars project. But you did see their influence here in that middle arc of this season. But what do you guys think of Leslie Headland being officially announced as the showrunner for a show on Disney Plus? I guess we knew it was coming. I guess all the leaks are true. I mean, if it wasn't, you know, Disney wouldn't have made this official announcement. So the variety leaks were true. Will it be female centric? Most likely it will be because that was a report from Variety. They got this right. Maybe it was actually Lucasfilm that end, ended up actually leaking the information that Leslie Headland was going to be the showrunner on a show for Disney Plus. And they were just wait. They were just waiting for Star Wars Day to make the official announcement. And I guess they thought that this would make people happy. But looking at some of the comments on Twitter, nobody's really that happy. I mean, that's just the state of Star Wars. Yes, you got a couple of SJWs in there that are happy about this. But if you're actually looking at the comments on Twitter for this, it's kind of uh, blah or not good. Or people just want them to stop with the agendas. But the agendas are not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. The agendas are here to stay. And with that, Star Wars is going to face an awful death. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Leslie Hetland officially announced as the showrunner for a Star Wars TV show or project on Disney+. So guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. And we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix out.